Hey everyone, Steven with FutureLooks.com and today we have a very special treat. Intel is launching the new 8 series chipset and Gigabyte has some new boards to show us. We're in California at their HQ and we're going to interview a few people. They'll tell us more about this new product series. Today uh, we announced uh, Gigabyte A series motherboard. We have a confidence to deliver the state-of-the-art solution for our customer. This is the best product uh, Gigabyte development in recent years. Hi there, this is Eric, Future Looks. Today we're at Gigabyte. We're taking a look at the brand new Z87 platform from Intel. Gigabyte's got some great new boards that are completely revamped from the bottom up, including the BIOS and the software, the easy tune that everybody's been looking forward to. So we're gonna take a look at all the latest boards they have to offer. Like you mentioned, we're just launching our 8 series motherboards. We'll start off with this guy over here. This is our UD3H motherboard, so Z87X UD3H. This is our mainstream segment for 8 series. Um, we have a new heatsink design that you can see here. Um, we're also putting some overclocking features on, voltage read points, power on board. Um, we're also, this is an ultra durable 5 plus motherboard. This is a new technology from us. We're actually using digital power controllers, PWM from IR, uh, International Rectifier, as well as the um, power stages from IR. So the entire power delivery is from IR, and we're bringing that from the high end down to the mainstream in this board right now. For 8 Series, we did something different with our heatsink design. Generally, we'll, you know, our gaming and our OC boards will do the green and the OC will be the orange. Uh, but for the mainstream boards, we broke away from the traditional blue that we do or sometimes the uh, um, different color schemes. And now we've actually got a red motherboard here. This is the UD4H, so Z87X UD4H. Um, so this is between the UD5 and the UD3, obviously. Um, so we're using the, these new black capacitors on all of our motherboards. This is part of our Ultra Durable 5 Plus. These are rated at uh, 10K or 10,000 hours at 105 degrees Celsius. Um, power stage from IR again and digital power controller. Um, so this is sort of our you know, more mainstream board, but UD4 and you've got the red color scheme. We do have a new BIOS design. We've completely uh, gotten rid of our 3D BIOS and redesigned our, our BIOS interface. All right, let me get this straight. So the, your 3D BIOS is gone and you guys have started from the ground up again. Yeah, so we've completely revamped everything. Um, you know, we've put all of our system information, our board information, all of them, you know, all of our system information in very easy to read areas on, on the BIOS itself. So basically, just one look, you can see what the, your system is doing, what CPU frequency you're at. Um, uh, that's just one of the cosmetic changes we've made. But we also added some things where you can actually set different home pages. Um, you can tag different settings in different profiles. So let's say you know you're an LN2 overclocker and certain settings that you want to have on your home page, all of those settings you can manually adjust and put on one screen. So a customizable BIOS, a real customizable BIOS. Yes, completely customizable. You can even change the background wallpaper. Um, we have a couple of presets you know, for different colored motherboards that we have, the orange and black and green. But you can also use any other file, image file that you want and make it your own background image. So completely new design, new BIOS. Um, it's called the UEFI Dual BIOS and this will happen on all of our 8 series motherboards. All right, now also I've noticed you guys have an easy tune, a new easy tune based software. Yeah, so another thing we did is we got rid of all of our old software applications and we're revamping them and moving them to our new design. Um, all of them will have a standard look and feel to them, all of our software stuff. Um, and they'll all live in this thing called App Center. App Center, um, basically, on our driver CD, anytime you load a Gigabyte app, it'll come up in this App Center. And you can you know, open up different app apps. We've got EasyTune, which is our software overclocking app. We've got On-Off Charge 2, which allows you to charge your mobile devices when your PC's off. So any of our software will be here. Um, we've got smart uh, overclocks, so basically uh, our engineers have come up with overclocking profiles based on your memory and your CPU, and you can do light, medium, extreme overclocking, or of course you can also do advanced overclocking where you can change the settings on the fly as well. And this is all a Windows application, 
Um, we've added more smart fans to our motherboards than ever before. Um, here you can actually calibrate and it'll automatically adjust your fan speed or you can actually change it yourself. Um, each of your fan, like CPU fan, OPT fan, system fan, all of these are completely configurable based on uh, temperature and RPM. So you can adjust whatever you want, just move these inflection points and uh, hit apply and you're going to have your complete fan speed control. All of our applications, any new ones that we'll develop, everything will be here. We have this app center, so if you have any updates for your motherboard, you just click update, or anytime there is an update, Gigabyte will send a message to your system and say, hey, there's a new app alert, application, come and download it, and it'll do that automatically for you. And this is our new uh, Sniper 5 motherboard. We have two boards at launch. There's the Sniper 5 and the Sniper M5, which is a micro ATX. But this guy here is our full-size ATX board. We have a PLX chip on board that can do four-way graphics. Um, we also have a new heatsink design, as you'll notice. We've got a water block, also a fan cooler. Um, so basically, you, you can choose what type of cooling you want for the MOSFETs. Um, black color scheme, black and green. But one of the key features I want to point out for our G1 Killer series this time is we're really focusing on audio. Um, you'll see here we're still using Creative Soundcore 3D, and we've got the little gold covering on it. Um, but I want to focus on this guy right here. We actually have an OP amp socket. We're calling this Gigabyte Amp Up Audio. So basically, users, customers can actually remove amp and switch it in with uh, any sort of amp that they want. Each motherboard comes with two amplifiers with them. Um, we're selling a separate kit that will have additional three amplifiers if you want to buy that separately. And you can also go online and buy them. But basically the idea is users can change their amplifier, change their sound quality based on whatever you know sound characteristics they want to hear from their board. So this is actually the first time anybody's actually put this on, on a motherboard. We also have all of our connectors on the back are gold plated in order to prevent corrosion um, and also providing a better signal quality. Um, we have that and we also have, a, we've actually separated the uh, uh, analog from the digital side of the motherboard. So obviously the audio is the analog and this side is the digital. So we have this trace path here where we've actually separated the power layer and ground layer from the motherboard. You can actually see through the motherboard. And we've lit this up with LED lights so in the system behind me you can actually see where the separation in the PCB is, has happened. We're still using the Killer LAN this is from Qualcomm Atheros. Uh, we also have an Intel LAN as well, so dual LAN. Power over PCI Express, so you can actually use a SATA power cable connector to give power to your graphics card. So if you're using four-way, you're actually able to take power from the different rails of your power supply. All right, so we've got our performance, or, or your mainstream boards here, and we've got, of course, this excellent G1 killer. What about overclockers? I know you got something. Yeah, so, you know, we definitely, we've come out with two new motherboards for launch. We've got our OC Force motherboard, as well as our more mainstream OC board. And we've put a ton of new features on these motherboards that we're definitely excited for overclockers to get their hands on. Do you got something set up that we can take a look at? Yep, let's go next door and I'll, I'll give you a demonstration. For our 8 Series, we have two overclocking motherboards that we're launching with. One is the OC Force, which has all of our, you know, all of our main features, all of our overclocking features, and then we also have a more mainstream motherboard. This is our Z87X OC motherboard. Now this board is pretty unique. This was designed by our resident uh, overclocker, High Cookie, and he's got a ton of overclocking buttons on this motherboard, a lot of new features that people haven't seen before. Um, we've got a button called OC Ignition. We've got OC Connect, which has the USB ports in the backside so that if you're a lazy overclocker, you don't have to reach around with your USB thumb drive. Um, this one does four-way uh, crossfire and three-way SLI. It doesn't have a PLX chip because we wanted to bypass that PLX chip. Um, so yeah, definitely this is our motherboard for some serious overclocking. We've got a demonstration over there. Uh, maybe we can show some more in-depth of some of the features and buttons that we have on this board. So you see all this frost is formed here, but you see how not much frost is formed on the other parts? That's because this fan keeps the airflow going, okay? Now, let's say I have a cold bug and I need to shut down. I just press the off button. Look, the postcode isn't on. The system is off, but the fan's still on. That is OC ignition right here. OC ignition keeps power going to the fan connectors, the GPU slots, as well as the lights on the board. Now, I can actually leave and go take a break. Maybe I need to go to the bathroom. Maybe I need to do something else. 
and I can come back, my fan will still be spinning, airflow will keep going, and condensation won't form around the board. And that's an excellent feature. And this feature actually took a lot of engineering to develop, and supposedly it was very hard because the CPU isn't off, on. So now I just press on button, system comes right back on as I need it, and everything's working well. I've also disabled some of the other slots. So slot one, three, and four, which are these orange ones, they're all disabled. I've left this one enabled. That way I can not, I don't have to insulate inside that slot. So it won't mess up. Now let's say I need to clear the battery and do a full CMOS reset. Now this clear CMOS is over here, but I can press this button here that's CBAT. Now CBAT has an interesting little thing to it. So CBAT will basically clear the memory as if the battery was removed and you press clear CMOS. This is excellent if you have like four GPUs installed and you want to basically troubleshoot or clear all your memory, but you don't want to remove the battery and you can't remove the battery. So you don't have to remove your GPUs for that. So let's say I want to increase something on the fly, right? Okay, so I can do it like this. So CPU status right now we can see is 4989, right? But let's make this an even five gigahertz. Why don't we? So I'm gonna go here, CPU base clock. I'm just gonna select it and I'm gonna type in 100.01. Yay. Okay, but that hasn't actually applied it, right? I'm still at this, but let's apply it. I can hit on and then hit apply. You see how all these options that can be changed on the fly have this, but they're all off. So that doesn't, if I change this right now, but don't hit this on, and when I hit apply, it won't change the multiplier, it only change the base clock, whatever has on. Press apply, and now go here. It should have worked. Yep, we saw that work in action. Didn't we? Uh, the features are really good. Awesome for LN2 overclocking. This board was developed by Haikuki, and all these features are really his design, and he worked really hard to basically work with the engineers to get the memory overclocking, CPU overclocking, base clock overclocking, really good. Thanks Eric and the Gigabyte team for taking us through the entire Intel 8 series uh, family of products from Gigabyte. They look fantastic all the way from the mainstream performance series down to the G1 killer series for gamers. Love that OPM feature that's fantastic and the color scheme is definitely improved. And finally, the OC series was just going to give the overclocking market the boost uh, and the boards that they need to get those records. And of course, all the new improvements on the software side, including the new UFI Dual BIOS. I'm Steven with FutureLooks.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again in the next video. Take care.